This morning, we're exploring a project to bring back an icon of American forests. More than a century ago, nearly 4 billion American chestnut trees grew in the eastern U.S., dominating forests from Maine to Florida. But wood logged from the massive trees helped build the country and was used in everything from homes to railroad ties. Its famous chestnuts fed animals and people. Then about a century ago, disease wiped out virtually all the trees. Chip Reed visited a Virginia farm to learn how an ambitious program is trying to restore the once mighty chestnut. The American chestnut tree was once an American icon, a national symbol of strength and a cornerstone of the Appalachian economy. But today it is functionally extinct. Every year it produced bushels of nutritious chestnuts, supported wildlife like we've never seen since, and it also sustained the people. A blight, an aptly named type of fungus, was brought to this country through trade at the turn of the 20th century and decimated four billion trees in just five decades. Here's, here's Those that remain in the wild here, cannot here reproduce the on their own. Rex Mann is a retired forest ranger who began volunteering with the American Chestnut Foundation over 20 years ago in hopes of giving the American chestnut tree a fighting chance. You had a health battle, and that inspired you. When I retired, uh, I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I had a decision to make. I could do nothing and let nature take care of it, or I could uh, choose to use the best science we had and try to drive that monster into remission. Now, for what researchers say is the first time in American history, a functionally extinct tree species could be restored. What is the research that you are doing now? We as a science team are trying to develop an American chestnut tree that has enough blight tolerance that it could survive in the forest. Researchers at the American Chestnut Foundation are breeding the American chestnut with the Chinese chestnut, which is resistant to the blight. Sometimes they don't work. After the yeah, trees are they bred, they their burrs, which house the nuts, are harvested. But in there is a yeah. pollinated burr. Yep. Yep. A chestnut burr. Exactly. Inside each one of these burrs are two or three chestnuts. They will be planted, and this is just one step in a long, complicated process that they hope will eventually lead to a blight-resistant American chestnut tree. But before they are planted and bred again, the burrs must be sorted. Then the viable nuts will be planted and injected with the blight to see which ones survive. The young trees that do well will be bred again. Tell me why it is so important to save the American chestnut tree. Well, it was a way of life in the Appalachians and the eastern U.S. forests. The mighty American chestnut also bears rot-resistant timber, which provided homes and industry to the nation's heartland, and with it, hope for those who had little. Those people were poor. In the fall of the year, they would gather chestnuts by the sacks full carry them down to the country store and, and swap them for shoes for the kids. And there were train loads of chestnuts going all to all the major cities and people uh, bought them and roasted them on the street. Now, chestnuts roasting on open fires across America are of the larger, less sweet European and Asian varieties. We want a tree that's competitive in the forest, grows tall, and replaces the American chestnut in that great form and timber quality. If researchers can rescue the tree, the American chestnut could serve both as a model for protecting other vulnerable plant species okay, from just... insects and disease, okay. and as a there weapon against a climate change, capturing more carbon from the air thanks to its larger size. We're blazing a trail for how people who care about this can restore the other trees we're losing. I think that's really the big story. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Meadowview, Virginia. Well, I hope they're successful. Yeah, I didn't realize in the holiday season we're eating European and Chinese chestnuts. chestnuts. I want an American yeah. chestnut. I do too.